11. Write cell schematics for the following cell reactions using platinum as an inert electrode as needed. So then our equation here is 2 Ag plus aqueous plus Cu solid yields Cu2 plus aqueous plus 2 Ag solid. All right, so we have to draw those cell schematics, or in this case, we're only drawing one schematic. But a schematic is basically just a different representation of this balanced equation. It, in essence, it talks about the balanced equation just in a different way. So it's like it's just basically like a drawing in, you know, in chemistry terms. So these cell schematics come from oxidation and reduction. So we will go back to Leo the lion says Gur, but I think the best thing to do now is to just show you what the schematic looks like. It's very standard and it looks like this. So I will put it over here. So the first thing is, is that there's two components of your cell schematic. The first section is always the oxidation information, which is represented in blue in this case. And the second part of the schematic is always talks about the reduction side. So now, the first things first is I have to figure out which one is undergoing oxidation and which one is undergoing reduction. Now, just know that oxidation always happens at the anode of a cell. Reduction is always happening at the cathode of a cell. So you can always um, know what these are going by, by just memorizing the mnemonic anox, so an ox, anode oxidation. And then on this case, these would be flipped, but it's cat red or more specifically red cat. So reduction cathode or cathode reduction, whatever you want to say. So let's first figure out who is the blue oxidation, who's the red, who's reduction. First things first is you got to find the half reactions. So just pick the two species on either side of the balanced equation that go together. So for example, I have Ag plus aqueous. So I'm looking for a silver on the other side, Ag, right? Well, that would hook up with this one, right? Ag goes to Ag. So they're, they're a team. And then the other team would be the copper, right? I got a copper solid here. And I have a copper two plus aqueous over here. Okay, but now the question is, which one, the silver or the copper, is going to be oxidation and which one is going to be reduction? Well, this goes now down to Leo the lion says Gur. LEO, loss of electrons, is the oxidation, aka it's the anode. You could always tell that something's undergoing oxidation if it's becoming more positive, right? If you're losing electrons, you're losing negatives, so you're becoming more positive. On the flip side, gain of electrons is reduction. And you're gaining electrons, so you're becoming more negative. So just look at those charges. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, OK, Ag is going all the way over here to Ag. Cu is going to Cu. Let's analyze the charges. Let's take Ag, for example. Now, Ag, there was a plus charge up here. That means that it was a plus 1. Now. For these cell schematics, we do not care how many we have. So just to make it easier for yourself, I don't care that I have two of these on both sides. I just like to look at what the charge is for the single one, because either way, you'll still get the same answer. So in Silver's case, you have a plus one, and that is going to, well, this Silver didn't have a charge in the upper right-hand corner. So what's that charge? You got it. It's a zero. So plus one went to a zero. Plus one to zero. Is that becoming more positive or is that becoming more negative? Yeah, you're becoming more negative. You're going down in number. So this has to be reduction. And that means that the AGs are going on the right side of the cell schematic. So now you just got to basically just double check, right? If the Ag is the reduction, that means the copper has to be the oxidation. But let's just see. No charge in the upper right-hand corner for copper. That means that you started off with a zero and you went to a plus two. Did you become more positive or more negative? 
yeah, you became more positive. So that is oxidation. And it checks out. So now let's just write the schematic. Oxidation always comes first. The anode is always stated first on the cell schematic. So you always start with what you obviously started with. And on the other side of the break, that's what you end with. So this is the reactant and this is the product. So I have Cu solid as my reactant for my oxidation. And maybe what I'll do just to make it even better, I'm going to put this in blue. There you go. I'm going to break and then I'm going to put the Cu two plus and that's aqueous double, double break because now we're going over to the reduction side reactant product. The reactant for the reduction is Ag plus. So that's what I'm going to put Ag plus. And notice how I'm not putting how many I have because in your scale, scale, in your scale schematic, in your cell schematic, it doesn't matter how many you have. You're just going down to the bare bones of just who you have and what you're turning into. And then the product side would be just the Ag solid. And there you go. Now, I just want to say that did we need the platinum in this case? You only need the platinum if either your oxidation side or your reduction side has only aqueous material, no solids. But since I have a solid, I have copper solid, I don't need a platinum uh, electrode. And over here, since I have Ag solid, I don't need the platinum either. So we don't need platinum in this case. And this is our final answer. Okay. What'd you think? Thank you for viewing the video. I hope this helps you out. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. I really do appreciate all you guys. And my brother and I, uh, we're so, you know, we're so happy to hear that this channel is helping, all, you know, you guys all over the world. So thank you so much. And I hope you guys have a great day. Keep studying hard. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.